Hey there, welcome back to our Toast Networking series. In this video, we will cover troubleshooting steps for your Toast networking hardware. There may be times when certain equipment at your location appears to be offline, meaning there's no internet going into your Toast devices. Whether this happens to all your devices at once, just some of them, or only your wireless devices, today we will cover the steps to troubleshoot each scenario. You will know all Toast devices are offline when a banner appears notifying you of a no internet connection or no network connection. If this occurs during your initial installation, you will notice your Toast app setup has paused. To begin troubleshooting, locate your networking hardware and check the lights showing on your Toast router. When your router is working as expected, the first two lights will be solid green. Let's walk through some other lights you might see and what that can mean for your connection. If there are no lights on the router, check to see if the wall outlet it is plugged into is giving any other devices power. If not, this is likely a power outlet issue. Try plugging the router into another outlet. If you can confirm power is coming into the outlet and the Toast router is still not showing any lights, contact our customer care team for more help. If the last light is blinking green, that means the device is running an update. Do not unplug the power or ethernet cords. The automatic update will finish quickly and the router will return to normal functionality. If the second light is yellow or red, let's look at the connection between your internet modem and your Toast router. Start by making sure your internet modem is powered on. If not, Power this on and wait 90 seconds to ensure the modem has started sending internet to your Toast router. Next, confirm the internet modem is connected to the WAN 1 port on your Toast router. This port is reserved to ensure internet is flowing from your internet modem to your Toast router. You should see the lights on the internet modem and the Toast router light up. If you do not see these lights, try unplugging and replugging in the ethernet cords from the internet modem to WAN 1 on your Toast router, or swap the ethernet cable out for a known working cable. With all ethernet cord installations, make sure you hear the cables click to confirm it's in place correctly. Lastly, if your internet modem has multiple ports, you can try using another port to connect your Toast router. If you are still unable to see the lights on the router or internet modem's respective ports, try contacting your internet service provider to further troubleshoot your internet modem, as this is likely the issue. If your internet provider can confirm that a hard wire connection is flowing from your internet modem, contact our customer care team to further troubleshoot your Toast router. If your Toast router is showing solid green, that means there is a working internet connection between your internet modem and your Toast router, and it's time to look at the connection between your Toast router and your Toast switch. If only some devices are offline, or you are able to confirm using the steps above that there is a working internet connection between your internet modem and your Toast router, we will begin troubleshooting your Toast switch. Start by confirming your Toast switch is plugged in and powered on you should see the power light on the front illuminated. Next, you can try power cycling the switch by unplugging the switch from the power outlet, waiting about 30 seconds and plugging it back in. Once we know the switch is on, take a look at the link lights for each port. It may take a few minutes for these to light up. If the cables in these ports are connected to a Toast device that is powered on, you will see one green light blinking in the top left-hand corner of each port. That's a good sign and means the switch is functioning properly. If you see an orange light in the top right-hand corner of the port, that means the PoE button on your switch has been accidentally pressed. Release this button to see if the link light returns to blinking green in the left-hand corner. If there are no lights above where the ethernet cord is plugged in, contact our customer care team for additional troubleshooting help. If all lights look good on the switch, Check to see if the group of offline devices have anything in common. Are these devices all using the same power outlet? Are they all in one area of your restaurant? If so, the common source of power or ethernet, such as an extension cord, splitter, or additional switch might be the cause of the problem in these areas. 
If the Toast devices that are offline seem to follow no pattern, contact our customer care team for additional troubleshooting help. If this is just one device, try searching Toast Central for device-specific troubleshooting, as you have already confirmed this is likely not a networking issue. If the only devices offline are wireless devices, and you have already confirmed router and switch functionality in the steps above, we'll begin troubleshooting your wireless access points. Begin by locating your wireless access points. Try unplugging and replugging in the Ethernet cord that is connected to your access point. No matter what, do not touch the reset button. Next, navigate to the Toast POS app and confirm that your wireless Toast device such as your handheld, is connected to a network ending in underscore toast. Once you fix a network, the banner on your handheld saying there's no network connection should disappear in about 30 seconds. If the banner is still there, contact our customer care team for additional troubleshooting help. All right, team, we covered a lot of troubleshooting steps today. The main thing to keep in mind is that all device troubleshooting starts by confirming your Toast networking hardware is functioning properly. And remember, our team is here to help you along the way if you need additional support. You got this.